Hello, my name is Metin Ardashir. This is 59th part of explanation of my theory. Do ain hunt law is wrong. Rem's following explanation of continuous X-ray spectrum is wrong. De Broglie's matter wave formula and theory and explanation is wrong. According to my theory and my formula, one. Firstly, according to accepted physics theories, a particle that that has charge, say electron can only propagate electromagnetic wave or give a photon by accelerating or decelerating. If it is at rest, it cannot give off the photon. Whereas, according to my theory and my formulas, free electron motion forms or free electron motion like forms of metasensation perception matter, whether they are at rest or in motion, they can produce and propagate successive waves. 3. Lambda min here that named in the Ein Hunt formula is lambda n minus delta lambda cosine zero degree like this here remember I formula lambda n minus delta lambda cosine alpha in the direction of the source electron motion form. Remember from my former videos. Lambda n minus delta lambda cosine zero degree is equal to lambda n minus delta alpha. Remember. Lambda mean named in the Hunt formula is lambda n minus delta lambda. In my term on terminology and in my formulas. That is the shortest wavelength corresponds the highest energy in the direction of free electron motion form at a certain at a certain velocity. Free electron motion forms successive waves in the zero degree direction of their sources electron motion form in the direction of electron motion forms motion that is the shortest wavelength for successive waves of this free electron motion form source yes and corresponds at the shortest shortened wavelength of successive waves and its correspond energy is highest energy in the direction of free electron motion form at a certain velocity remember from my former videos. 3. According to my theory and my formulas, lambda n minus delta lambda is inversely proportional to free electron motion forms velocity and its corresponding energy directly proportional to free electron motion forms velocity like this. This is free electron motion form in the direction of motion zero degree, just in the direction of motion Some, uh, shortest shortened 
success in waves, wavelength, and corresponding energy. Highest energy, shortest wavelength. Whereas, wrongly, in accepted physics, in Duane Hunt law, lambda min is lambda min is directly proportional to electron velocity and its corresponding energy is inversely proportional to electron velocity. For instance, if electron velocity is zero, if it is stopped by nucleus force, electron if electron is stopped by nucleus force, lambda minimum is minimum that the photon has, which the decelerated electron give, gives off. 4. This is my formula and my explanation. Here. Lambda n minus delta lambda is equal to this is my constant remember from former videos here I'm so sorry nanometer multiplied by voltage this is this constant unit constant that I put for is 1227 nanometer voltage okay here this is formula lambda n minus delta lambda equal to my constant divided by applied voltage. Okay, then my energy formula here, okay, then my energy formula here, then according to my energy formula, lambda n minus delta lambda is equal to hc divided by e, then here and Voltage, voltage, cancel each other here. For all different sized three electron motion forms under the effect of same value applied voltage, this is valid. And here, Hc divided by E or lambda n minus delta lambda correspond the shortest shortened wavelength of free electron motion forms successive waves in the direction zero degree of free electron motion E energy corresponds to the energy of this wavelength lambda n minus delta lambda here I hope you see Yes. Yes. Here, Hc divided by E corresponds to the shortest shortened wavelength of all different sized free electron motion forms which are applied same certain value voltage on them and E corresponds the energy of this wavelength lambda n minus delta lambda according to my theory and my formula differ from the Broglie formula and explanation and differ from Bram Strahlung explanation and differ from differs from Duane Hunt law or formula yes Yes. Whereas Duane, Hunt Law and De Broglie matter wave formula don't distinguish lambda n minus delta lambda that I put forth. Duane, Hunt Law, lambda mean equal to 12,300 
95 Armstrong divided by voltage and according to this formula here lambda is wavelength here according to this formula lambda lambda is wavelength of the photon that released from the decelerated electron and its corresponding energy is photons gaining and transferring energy from the decelerating electron. Here, the photon gains energy as much as the kinetic energy velocity that the electron loses. The ein hunt law is in accordance with Bram Strahlung's explanation of continuous X-ray spectrum, while the electron loses its kinetic energy by decelerating, at the rate of this electron product photon's energy that the electron transferred will increase. No, this is wrong. According to my theory and my formulas, electron as electron At the rate of electron velocity, its successive waves in the direction of its motion, its successive waves shortest shortened wavelength and energy will increase uh, and short it, it has shortened it has shortest wavelength, but electron motion forms successive waves like wavelength. At the rate of electron motion form velocity, not decelerating, increasing at the rate of increasing of velocity, its wavelength will decrease and its wavelength energy will increase. Okay. I advise you to read my explanation that I had wrote under the video. Yes. The broadly matter wave formula for electron lambda is equal to 12.27 angstrom divided by square root voltage. Wrong. Wrong. According to my theory and my formulas, these theories and these explanations, Buein, Hunt, and the Broglie theories and explanations, Bram Strahlung, wrong. They are wrong. Yes. Five. For all different sized different wavelength free electron motion forms provided that at only in the direction in the zero direction in the direction of free electron motion forms motion at a certain applied voltage there lambda n minus delta lambda is same value like what like this here Its lambda n is equal to say 0 0.2 nanometer. Here, lambda n one lambda n two is equal to 0 0.4 nanometer. But at same applied under the same applied voltage, same value. Okay. Here, only this direction, 
zero degree direction wavelength shorten shortest wavelength is same only in this direction but there remember from my former video there their velocities are different okay under the effect of applied same voltage same applied voltage yes six different sized free electron motion forms as giving different value velocities responses to the same value applied voltage in the motion direction they give same value shortened lambda and minus delta lambda wavelength response seven to make a free electron motion form gain velocity or to make it accelerate or decelerate by applying, applying voltage don't change its initial total energy mass momentum and its frequency again seven to make a free electron motion for gain velocity or to make it accelerate or decelerate by applying voltage don't change its initial total energy mass momentum and its frequency remember from my former videos 8 yes what about matter waves and it's the broadly wavelength for Bram Stralung explanation decelerating electron in one hand, the ein hand formula, in the other hand, the Broglie wavelength formula, while the electron decelerating through the zero value, a certain conven convenient velocity. What about matter waves? And it's the Broglie wavelength for Bram-Straulung explanation decelerating electron. In one hand, Duane Hunt formula, in the other hand, the Broglie wavelength formula, while the electron decelerating through the zero volume at certain convenient velocity. At a certain convenient velocity. These formulas contradict, contradicts, these formulas contradicts with each other. There is deep incoherence in accepted physics here inconsistency there is inconsistency between them besides where are the matter waves and what would be their wavelengths Have a good afternoon. See you later.